Well, let's just shift into the the madness that took place today at the at the trade deadline. Uh, so first news that came out, uh, Claypool finally got traded. This this has seemed like, well, the whispers were out around the draft, right? Can do you guys remember that? Not around the draft. Um, right before the season two. Oh yeah. Um, but then it kind of just shifted to us wanting to trade Mason. <laughs> uh, <laughs> and then. And then the past couple weeks that it kind of picked up, and then there were reports today that that this this trade has been in the works for yeah like two weeks now. Except the Packers really were the front runner, and the Bears just swooped in, and gave us a fucking second. So I mean, this is the ideal situation. You get the trade capital you spent on him back, and you get him out of conference too. Um, I mean, even better, dude. Yeah, who knows? Yeah. Who knows how good the Bears will be? Uh, I looked at their schedule. I don't think they're getting more than like seven wins. That's no, if I that's think. if they're playing. That's if Claypool actually makes a difference. Um, but I, you could talk about the rookie year all you want. We have not seen anything that'll that'll show like maybe glimpses of glimpses of potential in Claypool. And I, I was all for getting rid of him if if we were able to get a decent in return. And the second is what you wanted. Honestly, I I have no complaints here. That second could be a top 45 pick, it's looking like. Maybe top 40, ideally. See, we'll fucking see. Uh, three picks in the top 45 sounds good to me right now. I do think that Claypool had glimpses, though. Against the Buccaneers was a great game. Yeah, if anything, that helped us get the second. <laughs> no, I think that's why he went for a second, because he has the uh, glimpses. He has all the talent. It's just he never puts it together. Yeah. And that's why I'm glad he's gone. I mean... I wanted him gone before the Buccaneers game. Definitely, definitely. Um, but yeah, it, it was it. It kind of hit me. Normally, I, I guess, really, besides when Ben retired, I really have no like feelings when we ever we like dismiss a player or anything like that. Um, but when I saw a picture, it was like James Conner, Juju, Claypool, all like celebrating in the end zone. Um, that kind of hit me because that was literally probably this like a year ago. Um. Yeah, two years ago. Oh yeah, twenty twenty, huh? Connor and Juju. Well, who else was on that? Probably like James Washington or something. Uh that one hit more than the fucking killer bees, just because of how much like I guess um disgust you have in like A B and Bell now. <laughs> um But yeah, the TikTok era is fucking over already. Thank God. <laughs> yeah, now we have a wait, now we have the dog era, huh? With got a bunch of dogs on in this fucking team now, huh? We'll just see. Pickens. It's really, it's really just pickings. <laughs> we have a dog. A dog. <laughs> um, now we can draft more dogs. Yeah, I mean, um, where do you think we go? Uh, assuming we do retain three picks in the top forty-five, top forty, are you going all linemen right now, or just open the open the gates uh, at us getting another star receiver? Because outside of Deontay and, and Pickens, you got nobody to throw the ball to. <laughs> but that's good enough, dude. You don't need more than that. I mean, those two guys are better than anyone the Packers have. Ah, I take that, yeah. Um, I'm really glad, though, that this opens up the door for, for Pickens. Um, even though Claypool is playing the slot, I do think this, this just expands his role even more and 